Now before this hay got in the barn baled, it was out in the field. Well this week on Steam Culture, I'm gonna tell you how steam is used to bring that hay in from the field. But before I start, if you hear a bunch of duck noises, that's because our duck friend Gloria is here. Now Gloria's actually a dude named Gloria, and that's how they roll here in the barn. So let me tell you about hay steaming. Now I found out from some friends of mine at the shop, there are farmers, there's very specific windows to bale hay because there's some natural dew. And natural dew helps bale the hay because it's not dry and brittle and it doesn't break. So they get a lot more hay into the bale versus leaving it in the field. But um, you only have those specific windows. Well, smart guy here in America invented what's called the hay steamer. So it goes between the tractor and it goes between the baler and it injects steam into the windrow, which is where you know the hay is about to enter the baler. Adds about, I think about 2% moisture from what I could read, just enough to make sure that that hay isn't brittle and it doesn't break up and they get a ton of it into the bale. Now, interesting thing for the farmer is, now, instead of only being able to bale in the morning and the night, they can bale all day long, especially in these hotter climates, drier climates like Arizona and Utah. So I thought that was a pretty cool thing. I wanted to share that with you. Hay steaming, only here on Steam Culture. Well, thanks for joining me this week. Go out on the interweb and find out. We'll put some links there for you about the hay steamer because it's pretty cool. But while you're out there, come and find our content because it's really cool. And in the meantime, I will have something for you next week. Have a good weekend.